we are back today with a Town Hall 11 hybrid tutorial video. We're going to show you how to set those funnels, where to drop your miners, where to drop those piggies, where to put the king, where to put your right side, left side funneling troops, and how to get through and get those triples. So sit back, buckle up, stay tuned, and enjoy the attacks. <laughs> Okay, here we have an 11v11. Um, I did get the triple, but I did make a couple of mistakes. So I want to show what the mistakes were. And uh, I mean, it would have, I just would have been a much easier triple. Um, okay, so what was the plan? First of all, the plan is as follows. I start my queen out over here. I, wanna, I want this archer tower to lock onto my queen. Once that archer tower locks onto my queen, I'm going to drop my Coco Loon and my baby over here. They're going to clear out this section. I want my queen to walk in here and then charge her in like that. But my problem was, was that I was late with the wall break. So my first wall break missed. My second wall break, I got in. So that was my first mistake was my bad wall break. I was really, really late. You have to anticipate where you're gonna use the wall breakers and do them in advance. Not do them like, you know, oh, I'm gonna need it now. Let me, let me drop my wall breakers now. So that's one thing. Second thing is my queen was standing over, like over here, oops. My queen was standing over, like over here, and my healers were like this. Uh, and this expo was targeting my healers. It was targeting it for a while. And it ended up, I dropped a free spell. If I would have dropped a free spell on it much, much earlier, what would have happened was, because in reality, my queen was closer to this expo, uh, after it was, after it was, it was on it. If I would have frozen it, the the when the freeze got off, it would have redirected onto my queen. So that was another mistake I did. But I digress. Uh, so again, the baby D is supposed to take care of this. Queen is going to charge into here. Going to use the king over here. Uh, king's going to go in like this and take care of all this. Siege barracks down over here. Miners piggies through this. Again, always looking for these types of spaces on the base when you have spaces like this it's going to keep your miners and piggies moving through the base and this is exactly where i want them to go i want them to go exactly like this so it has very very it's like it's really meant for miners and piggies this base um that's pretty much it let's watch it in double speed and en enjoy the attack together there's the queen uh, waiting, waiting, waiting till it locks onto my queen. Once it locks onto my queen, then I'm gonna drop my Coco Luna Baby D. I always try to get like a two for one deal. Um, you know, see if I can get a poison to work for two things. Okay, now I should have dropped my 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 what he calls right right now. I dropped them way too late. Once they dropped, and then I didn't drop a test because I was late. So I finally did get it open. I had to uh, use my king ability to knock to uh, make sure the queen goes inside. Now I tried to use a Piggy, uh, but you notice after I after I freeze that after I freeze that expo, then the expo starts starts going onto my queen. Uh, piggies and miners are already moving through this base. Queen beating on a wall, trying to get inside to take out that eagle. Eagle, 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 making shots come down on my miners now. So I use the warden ability. Want to keep those miners and piggies fresh and clean and full of health, moving through this base. Uh, still have my queen ability. Let's quadruple speed and move on. There is the triple and there is the army comp. Now, on this base, I almost messed up tremendously. Uh, the plan was, well, I used my queen. I used my queen over here, down over here. Used my king over here. Uh, king goes that way. Queen was supposed to go into this base and take care of the eagle. Now... That part went, okay, I wasted a rage, I didn't need to use that rage, but here's where I almost messed up. My queen was standing over here, and I really thought that she was gonna hang out there a little bit and she was gonna start beating on walls, and I dropped a freeze spell, and literally right as I'm dropping the freeze spell, she's booking out. It's a good thing that I went to drop my freeze spell and then I was gonna drop my siege barracks. The plan was to drop my freeze spell over here, drop the siege barracks over here, 
and then to minor and piggy through the bass like that. Um, but then the queen suddenly jumped out of that square and came around all the way over here, coming in like that. So at that point, I just dropped my siege barracks over here and then minored and piggied through this way. Uh, the important thing is just take getting rid of that eagle, getting rid of the CC. After that, as long as you know you have some nice pathing, it's uh, golden. Let's watch this in double speed and see how it went. So again, we're starting the queen down over there. Uh, baby D to get her uh, for the other side of the funnel to get her into that base. King is the other side of the funnel that gets the queen moving properly. Now. She did. She lost two of the healers. The king grabbed two of the healers. I'm still not sure if the king losing those healers ended up allowing him to uh, do some extra work on this base. Because he did end up breaking through there. And by the way, PSA announcement, everybody should work on walls. Otherwise, your, opponent, your opponent's kings are going to make it in. There's the freeze that wasn't needed and the queen booked out. Uh, now, once the queen booked out, I dropped the siege barracks up there. Dropped the freeze on that one. And Miners and Piggies through. There's a heal spell. Queen followed uh, one of the Piggies that didn't die. And then the Miners came up behind her and took her out. I used the heal spell over there because I knew that the, that the Warden was over with those. And I could use the Warden ability for the top ones. So on that split, I wanted to make sure, you know, see what I can get done. Uh, maybe it was a bad move. But, you know, the, a triple is a trip. A, th a triple is a triple. A three is a three. There is, let's get it into quadruple speed and get through it and there is the triple and there is the army comp okay for this attack dude i was <laughs> i almost messed up big time um you'll see while i take the attack the cc just i could not get that queen to step up and lure the cc i didn't want i mean i figured she'd get close to this wall and get here's the radius of the cc there's the radius i figure for sure the queen would step up but she literally she was hugging she was hugging the cc radius the whole time finally 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 at the last second right before the king steps into the cc radius she stepped into the cc radius so that was it was just a very cute attack my baby d also in this attack my baby d went on forever on this attack uh, let's see. I drop. I got my wall broke my queen in over here between my queen and my baby dragon. All of this stuff was taken out. All of this stuff was taken out over here before the CC even came out. Finally, the CC came out and well, we got to zoom out. Let's get rid of those squiggly lines. Uh, and then I ended up wall breaking my queen, my king in over here with the siege barracks behind him. And they went through this base like this. Um, made some nice tight pathing in the core for my, for my, uh, my hogs and my miners. So uh, let's just, let's watch this. I'm going to leave the radius on for that CC. I just watch how close she was standing to that radius. I mean, really, really, luckily she, they came out just in time. Let me hit that play button. Double speed, Avi. Let's watch it in action. There's the queen. And watch that baby D, how much work that baby D did. Uh, there is the wall break. Get the queen inside this base. Going to release the baby. I released the baby D. After that archer tower locked onto my baby D, I wanted to see. I want. I figured, but if, if that archer tower locks onto my queen, that baby D could literally just go on almost forever. And she took out pretty much exactly what I wanted. Now watch this queen. She's literally just standing, standing on that edge. The king comes in with the with the Pekka and the wizards behind it from the siege barracks. But literally, she's just... And now watch the king up there. The king and the Pekka are almost standing there. And then right beforehand, the, the CC comes out. Once the CC comes out, it's just dropping that dropping that poison and just letting these, letting those piggies and miners just, just annihilate that core. Just finishing up that core, going through it. And that's pretty much it. Uh, let's get this on quadruple speed and finish it up. And see that army comp and move on to the next one. There it is. Thank you very much, everybody, for hanging out to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below if there's something else you're looking for, something you want to see. It is my pleasure. Anything that I can do to make your gaming experience better makes me happy. So until the next video, have a great day, everybody.